Locating a nebula is the most challenging part for capturing deep sky object, especially if you have a tele-zoom lens. Because of the Earth's rotation, objects in the sky constantly moving, I have to make sure about the visibility before driving 3 hours outside of the city. For Crescent Nebula, first thing I need to locate the Cygnus region which looks like a cross in the sky and generally stays right above us in the winter season. Cygnus constellation stars are pretty bright and big in the dark sky that makes it easy to locate. Also this constellation is really rich in hydrogen alpha light which appears as red tones and there are multiple hydrogen alpha emission nebulas in this region such as North American Nebula, Pelican Nebula, Veil Nebula, including our target crescent. I will use a hydrogen alpha filter to get only red tones. I can also use this filter to get rid of the city light pollution because this filter basically blocks everything but red. Crescent Nebula is considerably is a small target for a kit telelens but still good enough to get some details and it's really close to the bright star Saturn which makes it easier to locate. Some people call this Brain Nebula because the cloudy shell surrounding the Wolf Riot star right in the center. This star is 9 million times brighter and 35 times larger than our sun. Wolf Riot center star is creating a stellar wind of charged particles from its surface which is tearing apart the shell of surrounding materials that the star blew off 250,000 years ago. That's why it looks like explosion in the process. When the star evolved from a supergiant to a Wolf Riot star, it developed an even fiercer stellar wind and began expelling mass at a furious rate. The stellar wind collided with the material around the star and swept it up into a thin shell. That shell broke apart into the network of bright clumps that you can actually see the detailed version in Hubble's website. Crescent Nebula is 5000 light years away from Earth. It means I will actually capture the past. It's kind of like time traveling. Another key for capturing good detail is going to be finding a dark place away from the city. I can capture in light polluted cities with my hydrogen alpha filter but the real problem is even the brightest stars are barely visible to naked eye so it gets really hard to aim your camera to find the target. I'm lucky that I live in the west coast so we have lots of desert with complete darkness and I will pack my gear and drive to death valley to camp and capture all night.
being in the middle of nowhere for astrophotography is really important because even cars passing by or street lights around you can ruin your images. Darkness will also help you to find your guiding stars easily. There's no phone service or internet out here. It also means less distraction and more work. And I wouldn't suggest having fire while taking pictures, but it gets really cold here, so I started a campfire to warm up and cook at the same time. After aligning my tracker to North Star Polaris, I will find my target, which is the Crescent Nebula. After locking on my target, I will leave my camera for 4 hours outside to capture all the dim nebula light into my camera sensor. single 3 minutes long exposure image looks like that and I took 180 of them in total and each is a 3 minutes long exposure and after stacking and combining all my pictures I have this final result this shows how crescent limbula looked like 5,000 years ago while Sumerians and Egyptians were building cities in Mesopotamia. This also means that if someone is capturing us from crescent nebula now, they could see how pyramids were constructed in our planet. They could only see 5,000 years ago in the past.